Hi guys, this month on A28 I set the valve clearance of my Corolla. I'm driving around to warm up the engine now because the clearance needs to be set when the engine is hot. Now this is a job I've been putting off for a while uh, because I, I've never done it before and I was scared I'm not going to get it right so let's see what happens. For any job you should really first disconnect the negative terminal from the battery. Next, remove everything in the way of the valve cover, starting with the air cleaner cover. Ready, aim, fire! Move it out of the way, being careful not to dislodge or pinch a vacuum hose. Disconnect the breather hose and the PCV valve. The PCV valve may be brittle from age, so gently pry it off with a large screwdriver if it's stuck. Loosen the two 12mm nuts. And make sure everything attached to the valve cover is clear out of the way. The toughest part is probably getting the valve cover off. Don't pry it with a screwdriver or hit it with a hammer. Simply keep on shaking it like crazy. Ready, aim, fire! I gently pried on it above the timing belt cover where there's no risk of damaging the ceiling surface. Tugging on the HT lead brackets also helps. Use a ratchet with a number 19 socket on the crankshaft pulley to rotate the engine clockwise. You can google how to find top dead center but it's the easiest to simply measure the clearance with the cam lobes pointing upwards. They don't have to be at 90 degrees. Measure right under the cam loads with a 0.2mm feeler gauge. There must be a slight drag and one size thicker should not go in. To make life easier, I attach washing pins next to the valves that are already within spec. To loosen the lock nuts, I use the T-bar so that the rockers don't dislodge. Then set the clearance with the screwdriver while feeling on the gauge. Tighten the lock nut with a ring spanner while holding the screwdriver in place. Make sure it's tight with the T-bar, but don't over tighten it. Ready, and fire! Super important, make sure you remove the ratchet and socket from the crank pulley, otherwise you're gonna kill something when you start the engine. Wipe off the surface of the head and remove any old sealant. And apply a little RTV sealant in the corner. And on the timing belt side of the cover. Don't over tighten the valve cover bolts, the studs will break. While they're at it, shake the PCV valve, you should hear a little rattle inside. If it's quiet, then it's probably clogged. Re 
reattach everything you removed and replace the air cleaner cover. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something and I hope I didn't do it uh, completely wrong so let me know if I did then I have to open it up again and then please go and watch for Leah's video uh, for this month's head to head and then we'll see you again next month.